Their first playoff game since June of 2019, the Warriors dominated the Denver Nuggets in game one of round one. And um, yeah, final score 123 to the Warriors, Nuggets 107. And, you know, this game showed the absolute and sheer dominance from Jordan Poole on the Warriors. He finished with 30 points and said, you know, made a franchise record. Most points by a Warriors player in their uh, playoff debut. This was Jordan Poole's first playoff game ever. It was actually the first playoff game for a couple different players on this team. But, you know, it was a great win for the Warriors. You know, in this game, it started out a little shaky. You know, obviously the Warriors are pretty, I wouldn't say like a clear cut favorite, but they are the favorite. I mean, you know, the Warriors are the three seed and the Nuggets are the six seeds. The Warriors, you know, had a way better regular season, but... You know, the Nuggets still have Nikola Jokic, who is a dominant player. You know, he was the reigning MVP. And in this game, he finished with 25 points. And he had a pretty good game with 10 rebounds. But the Warriors figured him out in the second half. The Warriors in the second half were amazing. That third quarter, they erupted out into a a big run. And uh, they were up by as, as much as 20 points at some points. I mean, they won by 16. And they, you know, the interesting story of this game was Stephen Curry did not start. Um, Stephen Curry was cleared to play. He came back. He was out for all, about a month. You know, of course, he had that foot injury against the Celtics, um, you know, last month. But Curry did not start in this game, and he honestly struggled a little bit. But it didn't really matter because the Warriors were already in a rhythm when Curry checked in for the first time. Um, but I, I think, you know, Curry, you got to cut him some slack. He His first time, you know, playing an actual game in like a month. And, you know, he's just coming off an injury. And he came off the bench. And Curry missed, you know, his first couple of shots. He ended up finishing with 16 points, um, but he didn't score any, he didn't even take a shot in the first quarter, but Curry actually did okay, I mean, I feel like he made up for it, he had four assists, he had a pretty good game, and I got to give credit as well to Kavon Looney, he is facing a big dominant player like uh, Jokic, and he was able to grab rebounds, play good defense, so I commend Kavon Looney, but this game was fun, it was honestly fun, just seeing the Warriors do what they do best, Andrew Wiggins with 16 points, 12 for Draymond Green, who also had nine assists. I mean, it was a great, fun game in that account. And I really loved it in that way. Um, and, um, you know, honestly, I was nervous because the Warriors, you know, coming out in the first quarter, they were down by one when the first quarter was over. But then in the second quarter, I mean, they just erupted out to a big run. Curry seemed to find his rhythm. Clay was making many threes. I mean, Clay was dead on. Um, Jordan Poole, though, I can't stress it enough. He can do everything. I mean, Jordan Poole can shoot downtown three-pointers not just out right outside the line he can shoot from anywhere on the court he can drive he's fast and versatile um i mean i think you know he could be the face of this team in the future but i think we're focusing on right now where we're trying to win a championship we have 15 wins away from a championship and i think i'm confident if the warriors can play every game like they did tonight um with you know even steph curry playing better than he did tonight i think the warriors are in a good position um looking around the league you know there were a couple other games the grizzlies got upset in game one to the timberwolves so that was good for us um the jazz beat the mavericks so that's sort of interesting and so yeah um but anyways you know I, i'm happy with this win i mean 123 107 it was fun i don't really have many critiques for the warriors besides the fact that they did have too many turnovers i think in the first quarter but other than that i mean they were hitting their shots and you can't ask much more i mean they were over 50 percent field goal percentage they were almost half with three point percentage and they shot a good amount of threes as well equal amount as denver did um and uh you know they they for the most part made their free throws so that was pretty good um for the nuggets of course like i said good game from Jokic. they also had a really good game from will barton he had 24 points um he was making a lot of threes and he kind of made the game close sometimes at the beginning uh, Morris had 10 points and Highland had 10 points as well. Um, but other than that, I mean, I didn't see a super, I mean, I wasn't super impressed by the Nuggets. They don't have Jamal Murray though. So I'll cut up some slack. Um, but you know, I think the Warriors, they, sh they showed their dominance tonight. And honestly, I think they're going to win this series. And I honestly think realistically five games, but I think they honestly could sweep. I think they could do it. Um, but I won't get ahead of myself. Warriors win 123 to 107 and take a one nothing lead in game one um, with the game one victory in round one of the 2022 NBA playoffs. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on this game. I'm really happy and I'll see you guys later. And uh, yeah, go Warriors.